The state of Texas is growing in population and business, and with that comes an increased energy need. One way the state is looking to do that is through advanced energy, like nuclear, which could be starting right here in the Permian Basin thanks to a new partnership. Tyler Dutnick explains. As oil is produced, so is high salinity water. We're looking for excess volumes of produced water. For that excess, in comes the Permian Basin that could really help us tackle this future water need. Produced water needs energy to be treated by facilities into a usable water source, which is a goal for the Texas Produced Water Consortium and their executive director, Rusty Smith. A partnership between them and nuclear energy company Natura Resources aims to deploy liquid-fueled molten salt reactors in order to do that. So what we're discussing right now is building a reactor in the Permian Basin that's going to provide uh, sources of that energy for uh, water treatment facilities in the Permian Basin, as well as any other end users, depending on the size and the scope of that reactor, uh, being able to supply other end users in that region. Those reactors aim to better efficiencies for the oil and gas industry. Being able to provide them viable pathways for treatment of produced water, being able to possibly have new sources of electric generation that they need for their operations in those remote areas of the Permian Basin, uh, I really see it's a, it's a massive win-win for everybody that's involved. Being another source of energy can help the region and also the state with electricity, says Jordan Robison of Natural Resources. So there's huge energy needs that are that are growing, not only from population increase, but data centers and things like that. And so one is just providing clean baseload energy to, to meet those growing energy needs. Natural Resources is based out of Abilene, seeing an opportunity to be a leader in these efforts. Why should Texas not be a leader in the deployment of advanced nuclear technologies? Um, we've we've got the we've got the expertise, we've got the knowledge, we've got the the companies, um, and we've got the need for it. And so that's one of the things we want to see is we want to see Texas stand up and be one of the leaders in the leaders in the world. And one of the energy capitals of the world might be adding another source. It should not be seen as trying to replace the oil and gas industry, not seen as replacing the economic engine that's been driving our state. Instead, I would say, look at it as supercharging that engine. We are providing the support both in an energy source and in a water source and water treatment source uh, to supercharge that uh, driver of our economic engine for the state for many years to come. Tyler Dupnik, News West 9, Permian Basin. Natural Resources is looking to start with a nuclear research reactor on the campus of Abilene Christian by the end of 2026. Robinson says the expectation is to begin commercial deployment by the early 2030s.